How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I have very good news regarding CGC grading. And as you can probably already tell, CGC Trading Card now launches in Munich, Germany. And this is great news, so what this means, let's just go through this video very quick. So, they created this nice little news article right here, basically stating that they are now accepting submissions at their uh, company's Munich office in Germany, starting 28th of March, which is today. Which is really nice. This is actually kind of surprising to me. They opened an office in, in the United Kingdom about two months ago. But that wasn't really another option as compared to sending them to the US. Because you would still have to pay value added tax upon returning them. And this is I think, I mean, as you're gonna see in a second here because I have the fees up right here. We do have to pay tax anyways on the grading. But I think the biggest upside to this is, like, we don't have to send cards to the US, which in itself can be very, very expensive. And not just the shipping to the US is expensive, like, the whole customs process and everything, and what, what if you like missing a document or something, your cards may be lost in customs and never reach CGC. So I think for people in Europe, not just Germany, like all over Europe, France, Netherlands, Czech, Czech Republic, you name it. This is a great, great option to finally grade your cards with CGC. So let's just go through this news article real quick. Basically, as I've just said, they now accept submissions at their company's Munich office in Germany starting today. They're also saying basically the first 50 submitters to CGC will get a free thank you gift. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm too late for that. I will. I might actually submit five cards of my own. I have some saved right here that I was going to send to CGC US anyways, but I don't want to submit like 30 cards at once, so I might just submit like one or two, uh, depending on, on, on the prices, but we'll see. So anyways, if we just continue on, basically they're just describing that their Munich office is actually operated by NGC International um, GmbH, which coincidentally is actually the coin grading um, partner for a numismatic guarantee company, which is if you go to the CGC site right here, the normal one, you scroll all the way down here, you have these different services of CGC. It's of course the more known ones, you have CGC Comics, or this is CGC grading in general. You have like comics, um, this is NGC as I was mentioning. This is basically their coin grading service. And you also have like paper money and like comics and so on and so forth, a bunch of different services. And this is actually their German branch, if you will, their German partner. And this is the same company that will be accepting the CGC trading card submissions for us over here in Europe. And this is, I think it's really, really nice. As I said, a great option for people in Europe to finally be able to submit cards without having them sent to, to the US. Maybe PSA can follow suit, but who knows. Anyways, there is a bunch of stuff right here, which if you're into grading anyways and like have graded me with CGC before or know of CGC, then you probably know these already. I mean, I do have to say, I, I love the CGC slabs. I think they look great. But anyways, so here's how to submit. You do have to become a paid member. But that's, that's besides the point, because you did have to do that if you were sending them to the US anyways. So there's no real difference. And you will send them to this address, which is the NGC partner in, in Munich. Um, you do have to write CTC on the outside of the package if you do submit them, so keep that in mind. So this is the German site, it's just cgccards.de. And you get to this page, you can also change, switch between English and and German, and you would just go to submit, as you would usually, you know, sign in, um, pay for the membership, and then start submitting your card. So the process is is the same. It's just that the shipping address is different. So here are the fees for the original CGC. This is CGC.com. This is why this is in dollars, and these are the fees for CGC.de, as you can see right here. So if we actually read this sentence right here, so we, you do have to pay a 15 euro extra fee just for the trading in general. 
and then you have to pay the fee per card. But if you read this all, your collectibles will be shipped to the CGC trading office in the US for grading and the fees include round trip shipping and insurance between NGC GmbH and CGC headquarters in Sarasota, Florida, USA. So they are still going to the USA, but you don't have to deal with any of the customs or anything. It will all be handled through CGC, like um, through this partner right here, through NGC in Germany. So you don't have to deal with any of the customs. You don't have to deal with the expensive shipping. Um, but it will take some time, as you can see here. This is basically the same time. I don't know how it is in the in the UK office right now, but when they first opened, they were also saying 40 days. It doesn't matter which which tier you pick, so you should just go for the cheapest. It will all take 40 days. So that's something to keep in mind, as compared to the to the US times, which is which is 20 days for economy, 10 days for standard. And like walkthrough is like three days. So let's look at the prices. The prices actually are one to one copied over from US. It's like 15 US dollars for bulk, 15 euros for bulk, but we do have to pay value added tax on top of that, which is 2.85 euros, which coincidentally is the VAT value of Germany, which is 19%. So as I've said, the prices are a bit higher with the value added tax, but if you think about it, if we just like take Germany as an example, when I get stuff from from abroad, from like the US, let's just say, I do have to pay value added tax if it's not like the example of eBay. eBay usually charges it beforehand and then you don't have to pay anything upon receiving the parcel. But if if the seller hasn't set that up, then you do have to pay something upon receiving the parcel. So you do have to pay that anyways. So they're just charging it right here up front. But I think in general, if you discount the, the shipping costs, because shipping costs to the US are way more expensive. I mean, I'm, I'm looking in Germany. So me shipping cards to them is like, what, six euros, five euros, something like that. So that's really cheap compared to like 50 or even 100 euros I would have to pay to ship them to the US. And the most important part, as I've mentioned before, you don't have to deal with the customs. And that is a huge plus if you're located in Europe, because the customs can be a huge pain in the ass. But anyways, I think that wraps it up for this little short information video. I thought this was a really nice change, like those news were actually great in my opinion. And I think I might actually send just two cards in, you know, just to see how the process is and how long it takes. I mean, they say 40 days, how long will it actually take? And I think I might do that, maybe like two or three cards. We'll see. I will keep you updated. But anyways, if you enjoyed this little update video, this little news video, then give it a like. If you didn't like it, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, and maybe I can try to change that for future videos. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.